What up, family? Ghetto News Porter Mary Dash Swing Mary Lee. Back with you with another video. Today is Moon Monday in my city, Chicago. April the 11th, 2022, so they say. They also say game is to be sold and not sold. And I say if I figure it out, then that means you owe me. They said, uh, they say, they like to say, if I tell you I got to kill you, I say if I figure it out, do I get to kill you? That's what I say. Um, the time is 10.06 in my city, Chicago. Okay? I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper at the age of six in 1973. Um... Became the originator of rap music at the age of eight, 1975. They have an um, artist by the name of Richard Dimplefields. The song, If It Ain't One Thing, It's Another. Part of the song goes, books, movies are corrupt, suicide is way up. You know, a lot of people grow up wanting things. They want to be somebody. I myself, you know, just wanted to um, pretty much do the right thing or whatever and stuff. And, uh, you know, along the lines of doing that, you know, I became a pretty decent writer. And I have one of those business minds that don't quit. Now, I'm going to call this video... Uh, Mary Lee's Motown versus Chi-Town. You know, that's a nickname of my city, Chicago, Chi-Town, the Windy City. And, you know, I came up with the spelling Chicago because it's called Chicago. So I spell it S-H-E-C-A-R-G-O, but it's spelled C-H-I-C-A-G-O. You know, it's kind of like idea of how my mind works a genius you know when I got my hat done by a young lady at Lids in Chicago this guy asked me how did I come up you know with that spelling you know and I looked at him like you know what do you mean I said my mind you know what I'm saying? See, a lot of people, they Google stuff. They don't think anymore. You understand? So when something hit them that's kind of cool, they look at me like I'm not supposed to be, you know, smart or something. Now, I've been looking at documentaries on uh, the so-called founder of uh, the Supremes. Flow, ballad. Um, she may have gotten the group together, and she had one of those soulful voice, and she she went through a whole lot of stuff. And um, Dinah Ross upstaged her because she and Barry Gordy became acquaintance. I'm going to be nice about it. And somehow or another, Florence Ballard got the shitty end of the stick after being violated and railroaded and raped, taken advantage of, and murdered, if that's the case. That's the story. I have a few documentaries that I can put with this video and I'll put it in the description and you can decide for yourself. I see a gift is from God and surprise it killed you. I used to stay 1335 East 75th Street in my city Chicago. 75th in Kenwood and adjacent to the building 
was a barbershop called Gordy's Barbershop. I remember it because, you know, I stayed in the neighborhood and in the um, building for at least four years from six to four years old. Now, I just cut my hair today because at the top you can see it's damaged because somebody's trying to kill me for my rap legacy. And because I'm good at what I do, you know, a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon. I was born May 25th, 1967. Now, I flipped this Bible here earlier. I didn't put it on film, but I flipped it to Jeremiah chapter uh, 48, 49, and 50. But something told me to read, you know, chapters 45 through 50. And they talked about cutting your hair bald. You know, I have a gift like that. I have plenty of gifts. And, of course, everybody tries to exploit my gifts, talents, and people I put on and make rich and famous. You know, trolls and uh Opportunistic people, gold diggers, and uh, selfish individuals. Now, you know, I've been trying to figure out a lot of things pertaining to my life, and you probably already know a lot of it. If not, figure it out. I'm definitely a good writer for a person who never finished grammar school, never went to high school, and I barely got my GED. But I write like a genius when I want to. A lot of people may not think so because they're jealous. Let's just keep it real. I have a unique way of expressing myself. And of course, that's what stands out the most. Um, I believe Barry Gordy knew my foster parents, the Redmonds. And they definitely knew the Staples singers and Mavis Staples, you know, before she passed away, I hope. On her deathbed, she tells the truth. When it comes to me, Mary Lee, you'll get a new support and originator of real rap music since the age of eight, 1975. And I would like to say I became your ghetto news reporter when I posted my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac vs. the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey, November of 2007. My second video was the next day. Um, I thought I posted um, the first one, November the 7th of 2007 and the uh, second one November the 8th of 2007 but for some reason they want to say otherwise you know because they can manipulate this social media stuff you know but either way both of them November of 2007 gave my child abuse rap to Oprah in 1984 at the age of 17. I read my child abuse rap to my younger niece, Deion Nelson, a.k.a. Dee Dee, who was about 12 years old. Her mother, Linda Nelson, when my mother allegedly died March 23rd of 2000, but my name, Mary Lee Davis, was on a headstone and not my mother's name, Mary Lee Wright. Nor did my... Um, Sister Linda, who tried to upstage me at my mother's funeral, um, she didn't allow me to speak. I believe she wanted her five minutes of fame, and she probably thought I was going to go off or whatever the case was, because I could be very temperamental at times, especially when I'm frustrated about, you know, people invading my space, taking my, you know, legacy and acting like, there's a problem. But I don't drink, drug, smoke, or fornicate, and, you know, yet and still, I've gotten this shit here in the state. Now, they say Florence Ballard, you know, died doing mysterious things or whatever and stuff. But I eventually want to talk about Barry Gordy. And they say he worked for a Ford company in Detroit. You understand what I'm saying? A Ford auto company. 
But when I was trying to figure things out, I do a lot of walking. And I was walking, and a gift from God and surprise to kill you. And I was walking, and I got to 126 South Torrance Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60633. You know, at a uh, Ford Motor Company. And I was like, wow, I wonder if Barry Gordy really lived in Detroit or did he migrate from Detroit to Chicago and just, you know, continue to work for the Ford Motor Company that he allegedly supposed to have worked for in Detroit. Because I remember my foster parents taking me and my foster sister, Kimberly Redman, to visit some godparents of ours in Detroit, Michigan. And I think they was parading me around. Because they say Barry Gordy worked from 1955, allegedly, at the Ford Motor Company in Detroit. And he quit in 1957. Now, I became the originator of rap music in 1975. And like I said, books, movies are corrupt. Suicide is way up. And if you tell a lie long enough, it will become the truth. If the truth, myself... Do not make sense out of the nonsense that people are trying to cover up. So, if you're a real Mary McAmire, you know I usually flip the Bible. Don't forget to read Jeremiah chapters 45 through 50. And you got to remember, if you're a real Mary McAmire, I was raped by five guys. And one of the guys' names was Jerry Ford, get it, Ford Motor Company, Jeremiah, Maya Angelou, you understand what I'm saying? It's all a play on road words, just like Chicago, Chicago. So, I'm going to break these here balls, and let's see what happens, okay? Then I'm going to flip the Bible, and I've noticed a lot of red gang bangers in my um, city Chicago which was never you know on this side of town where I located 6210 South Ken Park Avenue Chicago Illinois 60637 it was never this type of atmosphere and now they're coming all around because they know I peep gang I didn't live almost 55 years to be stupid you understand what I'm saying <laughs> Now, I am number one, okay? This is the 12. Add it together, that's 13. Okay? Now, they like coming from behind. I was railroaded May 31st, 2008 on Devon and Clark in my city, Chicago, Roger Park neighborhood, for so-called disarming a police officer, something I did not do. I was giving my book away. Rhymes, poems, and metaphors plus one song. It contained my DCFS files to prove that I was a child abuse victim. Some uh, short poems, medium poems, and long poems. You know, I, I write uh, poem stories, rap stories. That's what I do. I can rap also. Part of my rap is uh, this is for the people who thought I couldn't flow. I took off the W to let you know. I can flow from the highest mountain to the valley low. But first, let me introduce myself before I start the show. My name is Mary Mack, and I'm from Chicago. So shout out to Florence Ballard, the original Dream Girls. I remember going to the Dream Girls, watching them in 2006, and I was with my ex-girlfriend, LaWanda Joy Jacobs. And this white lady turned around and said, can you be quiet, because I was singing. I said, no, I cannot. All right, here go to scripture. It says, I don't want shit but half. <laughs> half measures avail us nothing. This is Jeremiah chapter 25 and 26. You can do 24, 25, 26, and 27 for my mom. Peace. <laughs>